Are you stuck in a rut, feeling down on your luck because you can't get your ducks in a row? Well, I'll show you how to chuck your duck in a pan for the perfect roast. <laughs> This is a step-by-step -step recipe, guys, and I'm gonna give you a foolproof method as to how to get the perfect roast duck every time. So, when CPJ sent me this duck, I asked you guys, what should I do with it? Upon deliberation, I finally decided to do one of my signature roast duck recipes, and that's jam African duck. Now, this includes a fusion of Jamaican jerk flavors and Northern African spice mixes such as cumin and cinnamon. It's pretty straightforward, guys, trust me. So, let's get into it. Okay, some housekeeping. Duck is not exactly the same as chicken, so we have to treat it a little bit differently. Because it has a higher fat content in the skin, there are certain rules that we're gonna have to follow. So step one, we're gonna have to get our duck to room temperature before we start to season it for roasting. This helps it to cook a lot more evenly in the oven and for the skin not to tear or rip apart while it's baking. So remove it from the refrigerator at least two hours before cooking so that it can get to room temperature. The next thing is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Third step is to pat dry our duck. I'm doing this to remove the excess moisture that's already in the duck. As you can see here, there is some water pooling on the plate. So I'm just gonna go, go ahead and just dab, 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 dab. <laughs> go ahead and remove the excess skin from the neck area, like this. Now we're gonna perforate the skin off the duck and this is a very important step as it allows the fat under the duck skin to render off while it's baking. You could use your knife and poke holes in the skin or do like a cross-sectional lattice and I'm gonna do the cross-sectional. If you don't do this, you'll have more like a soggy skin on the duck which we don't want because it's very thick and fatty. All right, now let's get into our rub recipe. And for that, we're gonna take about half a cup of any brand jerk seasoning that you have. And this typically includes scotch bonnet, escallion, pimento, thyme, etc. We're gonna add to this three tablespoons of soy sauce for extra flavor, because this jerk rub doesn't come with any soy sauce. This is about a teaspoon of grinded cumin, freshly grounded for more flavor. Now we're gonna add our cinnamon. I'm gonna do one teaspoon. Actually, let's do another teaspoon. And then we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of orange zest. Mmm, smells so good. By the way guys, you can watch the video up here to get one of my signature jerk spice rub if you wanted to give it a try. It's yummy! And it has my secret ingredient in there. <laughs> Apply the wet rub all over the bird. Give it a good rub like it's getting the perfect spa treatment. Make sure the seasoning gets in every nook and cranny of the bird. Now we're ready for the roasting pan. And we are going to put the duck on this rack so that when it's roasting, the fat can render off into the pan and not sit in the fat itself. We're going to put the bird in breast side up and then at some point during the cooking process, we're going to put it breast side down. To ensure doneness in our duck, I'm going to use my oven thermometer, which I'm going to insert into the oven on the side and then stick the probe into the bird. And it will tell us when the desired temperature of 170 degrees Fahrenheit has been reached. If you don't have an oven probe, you could use a digital thermometer with a probe at the end and just insert it into the breast at about an hour or so into the cooking time. All right, so now we're gonna flip the duck and add some vegetables to continue roasting with it. Pour off the excess oil so that the gravy is not full of grease. You could save the oil for baked potatoes at a later date. Now we're gonna add some aromatics like carrots, some celery, onions, and garlic to roast in the oven. All right, give your pan a quick swish to get the oil all over the veggies so that it can roast a lot easier. And then we are going to put back our duck and flip it so that the other side can crisp, crisp up as well. All right, let's get this back into the oven. So our duck has reached its internal temperature of 170, but I want it to crisp up on the outside a little bit more. I took it out, let it rest, and I'm gonna crank the oven up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we're gonna pop it back in for about 10 minutes or so. It is important that you do not leave the duck in the oven while the temperature is increasing, so that you do not overcook the bird. All right, guys, we have our duck ready, finally. It's looking great, juice is running clear. So we're gonna put this in another plate to rest while we make some gravy. 
add about a half a cup of orange juice and then we're going to add about two tablespoons of honey some raisins about two tablespoons give it a quick stir and then we're going to finish it off with about a cup of water just to get that sauce saucy saucy all right, and there you have it, our jam African roasted duck. It smells amazing, guys. I can't wait to taste. We're serving it with some wild rice and quinoa, some garlic sauteed pak choy, and just some boiled corns on the side. And I'm gonna give it a taste. This is a part of the thigh meat, and I'm gonna dip it into my gravy, my cinnamony jerky gravy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, smells like Christmas. Mm. <laughs> wow, it's so good. It's like Christmas in my mouth. The duck meat is tender, it's gamey. Got some sweetness from the honey and the raisins. I'm tasting the cinnamon and the, the orange essence that I put in there in the orange rind. Did you like your duck? Did you like your dog? Alright, alright, come down now. 